Nina was the best admiral from Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, episode 13. Um, episode freaking 13, let's go. Oh, Nina's dad. Gojo has some good... Gojo, Nina's dad. Nina's dad's up there. Yeah, sure. Any good dads in JoJo's with Avenger? こんなの別に死なきゃダメだっつーの。見込んだよ。ミノ採点だよ。あんたどんだけ自分が可愛いと思ってんのさ。おっさんは結局プロレス公演に間に合わなかった。いつも大河を晴れましてくれる串枝は
and I was like, oh, um, I was like, I was like, oh, I'll stay with you. Don't worry, we'll find your mum. Um, I, was, I was like, let's 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 walk around and try and find your mum. This all happened. This all happened today. I just I was gonna tell you guys we in the stream. I completely forgot about it. Just before the stream this happened, I was walking the dog. Just this little eight year old girl just lost in like these fields. Just, I couldn't I could not believe it. It's never it never happened. Like never experienced this. Um, so I walked with her around the fields for a while. I got my I was telling my son to like talk to her because she was just like her voice was just quivering and she just seemed like so sad. So I just kept saying to her like, don't worry, I'm not gonna go anywhere. I was like, I'll stay with you till we find your mom. I'm not going to leave you. It's absolutely fine. I'll stick with you. We're going to find your mom. And we just walked around the fields and then eventually we found her mom. But yeah, first time I've ever experienced that. Literally first time. It was it was like, yeah, I couldn't I, I, I couldn't believe it. But I just kept telling my my youngest to like talk to her. So he was like, what's your name? And he was like, my name's Indiana. And he was just like chatting about stuff. And I was like, oh, bless him. But yeah, absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. And I, and then when I when I was like, when I was walking off, I said to my son, I was like, I was like, we always need to make sure that we help the uh, the little, little boys and girls who are lost find their mummies and daddies. And then when he came home, um, he came through the door and he went up to um, uh, to uh, his mummy. Uh, he went up to her and he went, um, he went, yeah, we, there was a lost girl. And he's like, but we helped her because you should always help the little uh, boys and girls who are lost find their mummies and daddies. And I was just like, my son. <laughs> it's just so fucking sweet. But yeah, I've always a really cute story. He is actually named after Indiana Jones. I've always a really cute story, so I thought I'd just share everybody. One of those, like, nice things. But there you go. Excuse me, mister, are you Luke from GOT Games? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't that. But yeah, yeah, it was a really cute story, bless her. But yeah, I, I've never had, like, someone, someone be um, someone be lost before. So yeah, I thought, I'd, uh, there you go. I'll just share that random story with you guys. Um, I've never had someone come up to me who was lost before as a first meet, and I never expected it to be there. Like, I expected like a theme park or something, but not like a dog walk in some fields. It's crazy. But she got back to her, her, her mum and her sister. She had a sister as well, also. So. We went from the wholesome story to Indiana Jones, the dog. Uh, Indiana Jones is named after dog. Well, Indiana is the dog's name, and he called himself Indiana Jones. So, sure. Um, but the movies Indiana Jones are based on the character Indiana Jones. And if you Google Indiana Jones, it will come up with the Harrison Ford character, and it will say his name is Indiana Jones. So there you go. But his name was actually just Junior. Um, yeah, we went from the wholesome story to... <clears throat> Oh my She's going to She's going to give them a heart attack I don't think she is kidding <laughs> Her grip on the mic is killing me. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> ね。嘘だろ。大概に伝えて欲しいことがあるんだけど、いいかな。仕事の関係でちょっと出ないといけなくなってしまった。ちょっと色々あって、また一緒に暮らすってのもなしってことで、え、お姫様に謝ってはい
その通りだ全ては俺の勝手な俺はルージー didn't know he was trying to do what he thought was best he was a little bit selfish obviously but still his intentions were good he didn't know the full situation so I think everything he did was the right thing to do all right based on his knowledge and his knowledge of the situation I think he did the right thing to do I think he acted the right way with all that being said what an absolute fucking scumbag have they sold the apartment or did they just take all her fucking furniture away now she just got an empty ass apartment I hope she just moves in with Ruji and just lives there. Fuck that guy. ヤンキー高須が相棒を応援してつをでも確かに可愛いよな手乗りタイガーいざ手乗りタイガー最強ただし超強人おやじなんて気にするなちょうわっち父親なんぞ死にてむしてもくもくモルクに捨ててやったアピールタイムやってやれうわそれ持ってこいは、はい閉めろ<笑><笑>
Fuck me. あいつは。<笑> What? 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 Is he doing the thing? Show him Nante Iranai. Fukuotoko Nante Kankenai. Tonikaku. Don't Nashidan would scat the demo. Nani or no? Hayak. Oh my God, he's got the face. He's got the face! He's got the face of back! <laughs> He's got the face again! My god, this episode is amazing! This episode is fucking amazing! Come on, bro! You use the power of anime love! That will give you extra strength! Look, there's the power of anime love! <laughs> it's the delinquent! You're all dead now! Go, delinquent, go! Why are you trying so hard? Piss off! Piss off! Oh my god, this is the best! She's running as well? I think she's doing this on purpose. I think she's doing this on purpose. I might be completely wrong here, but I feel like she's doing this on purpose to test him. I wonder if Minorin this whole time has had her own agenda to get them together. Maybe? I might be completely wrong. <laughs> タイガの都合も考えずに好き勝手連れ回して約束を保護にする謝罪さえ俺宛てのメールで済ませて最初からタイガのことなんて考えてなかったそして俺はそれを見抜けなかった Oh, <laughs> 
How long is this scene? Oh my god, this fucking this is the best. This is the best. ]心配しなくてもいいよ。見てたでしょ。一人でも立ち上がれるから。だから大丈夫。私のことばかり気にしないで。大丈夫。One awesome episode, man. One awesome episode. 私は一人で立ち上がれるから。一人で生きていけるから。no, you can't. Shush. No one's listening to you. Okay. You, sh you shush, Tiger. You need them. And they they're there. They got you. Bunkasai,大成功だな。はい。会長の最後の文化祭。この学校の生徒会長でよかった。お前たちと一緒でよかった。お前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前はお前は
謝るのはどう考えたって俺の方で。You didn't know, man. You didn't know. お父さんの本性を知ってて。Exactly. If you knew, you would have acted differently. タイガー、私には何も言ってくれなかった。私、タイガーのことが本当に大切なんだ。だから、嫉妬しちゃったんだね、タカス君に。タイガー、どうして言わなかったんだろう言えば、私が怒るから。タイガーは、お父さんを悪く思われたくないんだよ。だから、一年前のあの日からタイガーはうちのこと何も話してくれない。私には。タイガーは本当に素晴らしい。ああ、そうか。どこに見上がったバカチーのやつ。たっくアイサカ。一人なのかもしよかったら一緒に踊ってくれないかダメだな、服男でもないのに。まただ。どうして北村くんはいつも。愛さか。うん。ありがとう。それじゃあ。どうやるんだろう。What the fuck? What the fuck is this? 手を取り合って、見つめ合って、飽きるまで回り続ければいいんだ。私、女の子の方が好きなのかなえこんな風に思っちゃうなんてさ。じ、違うといいな、と思うけど。そうだね。あ、私、普通に喋ってる。え何やってんだ、たかっちゃんえー、ないなみんなで楽しもうぜなん Why did she say yeah like that? Why did she say yeah like that? Why did she say yeah like that? And then she said, oh, the, she's like, yeah. And then she said, oh, they kind of came out weird. Like, they came out naturally. It did come out naturally. Do you like him? What's the deal with Tiger? My God, this scene is nuts, man. <laughs> We've had like 10 episodes worth of development in 30 fucking seconds, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Amy, you know what? It's funny, you can see the collar, you know exactly what she's wearing under there, man. よし、踊ろう。文化祭の夜に。この夜は特別だ。いろんな気持ちを棚上げして大笑いするたびに少しだけ胸は痛むけど、この夜が終わってしまえば。Why was the girl on the left crying? Was that the te- wait. It's because he's the teacher! <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Alright, let's Man! I'm so freaking emotional! Ah! I'm all like emotional, I'm all teary eyed. Ah, my gosh. Oh, uh, this anime! Oh, this anime is so good. We still have so much left as well. Oh, uh, remember school discos, Luke? Compare it to this stuff. I know, man. Like school discos, school discos are dog shit. My my prom was worse than this, man. My prom was literally. A golf course that they rented out, and everyone went there. There was no slow dancing. There was a meal, which was an awful meal, and then they just had a DJ come in, and everyone was like in these lovely suits and dresses, just fucking dancing on the dance floor, going crazy. It was terrible. It was like it, it, I would say it was terrible. I had a nice time, and it was lovely. But when I look back at it, it was a very basic prom. Like they didn't put any effort into it, sadly, you know. And when I watch like American shows and Japanese shows and stuff like this, it's like it's like, man, I want I want this. You just described my prom from a month ago. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But yeah, it's it's a shame. Basically, ours except ours was a hotel venue. Isn't it a shame though that you like? Am I the only one who expected a bit more? You slipped and smacked your leg. Oh no. Like, am I the only one who expected a little bit more? You know. 
I don't know. I just expected a little bit more from mine, and it was very, like, just basic. Uh, we had something similar each year. British class was taking the kind of food activity. Oh, yeah? Mine was at a castle. That's kind of cool. I know you scored us about voting a one-season anime as a tournament winner and forcing you to watch my dress-up darling and Torador back-to-back, but a minute you're glad you did. Yeah, well, I am this time. I am this time. we got still got two more episodes left. Um... Yeah, I just expected a little bit more. Like, when it wasn't that bad, but I expected more. Like, I looked back at it, and it was fun, and it was nice, but I wanted, like, the American movie, like, feeling, you know? I wanted to go in there with a date and, like, have the slow dance and the romantic feeling and everyone just like, ooh, and it's nice, and then have a band on stage. But there was nothing like that, you know? That's what I would have liked. I didn't even know that was a thing that happened in England until after it happened. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, England, we get the prom. <sighs> but, yeah. Uh, Amber, thank you for our uh, thank you for our hundred bits. Amber, thank you for thank you for the hundred bits. That's very sweet. Thank you for our hundred bits, and thank you for the fifty bits on top of that. Thank you, Amber. Thank you. That doesn't happen in America either. Well, don't hey, don't don't take that away from us Europeans, all right? Because you Americans, you your movies, all right, with your fucking prom is what we what we aspire to want. Okay, that romantic like comes picks you up at the door. You go to the dance. It's like a beautiful dance. There's a band on stage. It's like all romantic. Then everyone takes their cars, goes to a creek. They sit at the creek. They're all hanging out a creek. Don't you dare! Don't you dare take that away from us Europeans. All right, we believe that that is what happens, and don't you fucking tell us otherwise. Right? We just let us live in in ignorance. Okay, don't take it away from us. We stream well. We stream uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Yeah, don't take it away from us, all right? Don't take it away from us. I'll, that's why I choose to believe. I choose to believe. But I will say this. Prom was very average. But there was a rich girl who owned, like, 50 acres of land, and her family let her use it. And she set up, like, uh, like marquees, gazebos, and tents, and all sorts of shit in this giant, like, forest that she owned. Literally like a fucking forest, by the way. Not even joking. Like, crazy. And that was the after party. And pretty much everyone was invited. So everyone went from prom to this giant forest party in the evening. And that shit was amazing. That was good. Um, so there you go. <laughs> that was good. Obviously, a bunch of 16-year-olds definitely not getting drunk in a forest. Because that would be illegal. It was just water, man. It was just water. Everyone just drinking water. It was a good time. Anyway, should we go on to the next episode? Episode 14. Yeah.